Number three then from the 2014 Higher Maths Paper 2, functions of functions. Well, at least no fractions in them. But watch out for this little product here and there's this little Q. Find an expression for f of g of x. Well, that's just f acting on whatever g produces when you feed it x and g produces an x plus 3. Then what does f do? And that's what we have to watch. Now this x just represents what it's being fed, not this single x here. If I put something into it, I get out that thing, so it's that bracket, times that same thing that I'm feeding in, which is an x plus 3, only minus 1, and then a little bonus plus q for you there. So what's that then? So that's an x plus 3, an x plus 2, plus a q. Now I would imagine you need to tidy that up. I don't know if that would be sufficient for the first two marks. Maybe it would. But I'll just finish it off anyway. So, first time's the first, last time's the last. 3x and 2x makes it 5x, plus q I've got for the answer for the first part. Now the second part says, find the value of q such that the equation f of g of x equal to 0 has equal roots. Well, this will be the equation then. x squared plus 5x plus 6 plus q equals 0, which is a quadratic. I'll just emphasise that those two belong together as the constant in the end. So this equation will have equal roots if the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. So, what's the discriminant? b is the coefficient of the x term, so that's a 5 squared. Minus 4 times a is the coefficient of the x squared. And c is the absolute coefficient, the constant at the end. That's the 6 plus the q, and that should equal 0. Well, that's just a wee linear equation. It's only got a single q in it there. So, what's that? So, that says I've got 25 minus 4 times 6 is 24. Minus the 4 times 1, which is just a 4 times the q, should equal 0. So that says I've got 1 minus 4q equals 0. That's obviously 4 quarters. So taking that over, 4q is 1. So there you are then. q equals a quarter. Well, that's one you could check for yourself if you've got time. Is a quarter the correct answer? Does x squared plus 5x plus 6 and a quarter have equal roots? So that's the same as saying, does that factorise to two identical brackets or is that a perfect square? And indeed it is. x squared plus 5x plus, that'll be 25 upon 4. There you are, 25 and 4 are perfect squares. So that would factorise to x, square root of that, 5 upon 2, squared. Square the first, square the last, twice the product, the 5x. So that's definitely correct.